Lesson 4 Homework Number 1. For the following problems, draw a picture using the rectangular fraction model and write the answer. When possible, write your answer as a mixed number. 3 fourths plus 1 third. So I'm going to draw my rectangular fraction models. Get 3 fourths, 1 fourth, 2 fourths, 3 fourths, plus 1 third. Now, I need to find my common denominator, so I'm going to list the multiples for 4 and 3. So 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Okay, so 12 is our least common multiple and our common denominator. So I need to turn this that's broken up into fourths, I need to make it into twelfths. And in order to do that, Four times what equals 12? Well, that's 3. So I'm going to break it into thirds this way. And I'll have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 twelfths. Plus, if I break my thirds into twelfths, I need to multiply it by 4. So I'm going to make this into fourths. And I'll have 1, 2, 3, 4 twelfths. And 9 twelfths plus 4 twelfths is... 13 twelfths. Now 13 twelfths is an improper fraction, so we need to make it a mixed number. If I take one whole out, or 12 twelfths, so 13 twelfths minus 12 twelfths, which is just one, I would have one twelfth left. And so 13 twelfths is equal to one whole with one twelfth left over. Alright, three fourths plus two thirds. one-fourth, two-fourths, three-fourths, plus one-third, two-thirds. So find our least common multiple. Now we only already did four and three over here, so our denominator is going to be 12. And in order to make fourths into twelfths, we split it into thirds. So here I'm going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 twelfths. Plus, here we split it into fourths to make twelfths. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 twelfths. 9 twelfths plus 8 twelfths is equal to 17 twelfths. Now if I take out a whole, 17 twelfths, take out 12 twelfths, which is just 1, I'll have 5 twelfths left over. So our mixed number is 1 and 5 twelfths. C, 1 third plus 3 fifths. 1 third plus... One, two, three-fifths. Now let's find our common denominator by listing the multiples. So 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 5, 10, 15, 20. So our least common multiple is going to be 15. In order to change... Let's use orange. In order to change thirds into fifteenths, what we need to do is multiply it by five. So I'm going to break this into fifths. And we have one, two, three, four, five fifteenths. Plus, to break fifths into fifteenths, I'm going to multiply it by three. So we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine fifteenths. And 5 fifteenths plus 9 fifteenths is 14 fifteenths. And that's already an, it's not an improper fraction, so we can just leave it as 14 fifteenths. Okay, 5 sixths. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, plus one half. So let's find a common denominator for six and two. So we have six, 12, 18, 24. For two, we would have two, four, six, eight. Now, six is a multiple of six and two. So we can just leave five, six alone. It's nice when this happens because we don't need to do anything to five, six. Let's just leave it at five, six. And then to change, one half into sixths. So we would do two times what equals six, that would be three. So let's break this into thirds and we'll have three six. So we have five six plus three six is eight sixths. And then in order to make this, this is an improper fraction, so we need to make it a mixed number. In order to make that a mixed number, I'm gonna take out a whole, which is like taking out six sixths or one whole and I'll get two six left over. So I'll have one whole with two six left over. And we can even simplify that even more, make it one and one third. Two thirds plus five six. There's our two thirds plus Our five sixths, now our least common multiple. So we could use 12, but six is actually the least common multiple and would be the easiest because then we don't need to change this. It's already in six. So we can leave five sixths alone and change two thirds. So it's in thirds and we need to make it into six, splitting it in half. So we'll have four sixths plus five sixths equals nine sixths. And that's an improper fraction, so let's take out a whole by doing nine sixths minus six sixths, and we'll get three sixths left over. So this six sixths was one, so we'll have one and three sixths, which is equal to one and one half. All right, four thirds plus four sevenths. So four thirds is actually one and one third. So we're gonna need one, two, three, plus another hole to get our one and one third, plus four sevenths. And then let's find our least common multiple. All right, we haven't found it yet, so I'm gonna keep going up here. And then we find 21. So we need to break each of these into 21st. And to do that, this one's broken into thirds, so what times three equals 21? Well, that would be seven, so we need to break these into sevenths. So this would be, all, everything is shaded in, so this is 21 21st, plus another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven 21st. Plus, if we need to make this into 21st, so it's already in sevenths, we need to get it to 21, so times three, break this into thirds. So each row was seven, so we have here's seven, 14, 21, 28. Oh, I counted that wrong. We're counting by fours, not sevens. So there's four, or no, we're counting by threes, so there's three, six, nine, and then 12, 21st. So if we add all of that together, 28, 
21st plus another 12, that would give us 40 21st, and that's an improper fraction. So if I take out 21 21st or a whole, 40 21st minus 21 21st, that would give us, if we do 40 minus 21, we get 19 21st left over plus our whole. So our answer is 1 and 19 21st. Solve the following problems, draw a picture, and write the number sentence that proves the answer. Simplify your answer if possible. Sam made two, th two thirds liter of punch and three fourths liter of tea to take to a party. How many liters of beverages did Sam bring to the party? So two thirds and three fourths, and it wants to know how much he brought together. So we're gonna add one third, two thirds plus three-fourths. Now we've already done three and four and go up here and we had found that the common denominator was 12 when we listed the multiples. So instead of doing it again we can just reference what we've already done. So let's make these into twelfths. So it's in thirds. We need to multiply it by four. So let's split it into fourths. And we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight twelfths plus, if we break this into twelfths and we've already have it in fourths, we need to split into three equal parts and we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine twelfths, which gives us seventeen twelfths. And 17 twelfths, if we take out a whole, so taking out 12 twelfths from it, we get 5 twelfths left. So we have one whole and 5 twelfths liter. Number three. Mr. Sanofsky used 5 eighths of a tank of gas on a trip to visit relatives for the weekend and another 1 half, so they wrote that funny to kind of trick us, 1 half of a tank commuting to work the next week. He then took another weekend trip and used 1 fourth tank of gas. How many tanks of gas did Mr. Sanofsky use altogether? So he used 5 eighths, and then he used another half, and then he used another fourth. So... We're adding three fractions here. So we have five eighths. Plus one half plus one fourth. Now we need to find a common denominator for 8, 2, and 4, something that works for all of them. So I'm going to list a few multiples for all of them. And the one that they all have in common is 8. So I'm going to leave 5 eighths alone. So we have 5 eighths plus we need to make this half into eighths. So we have 2 times what equals 8. Well, that would be four, so I need to break this into fourths, and I'll have four eighths, plus if we have four, and we need to make that into eighths, times two, so break that in half, we have two eighths. Adding those together, five eighths plus four eighths is nine eighths, plus two eighths is eleven eighths. If we, that's an improper fraction, so if we take a whole away, and use that as a one, then we'll have three eighths left over and our answer is one and three eighths tanks of gas.